Yo, 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 what it do, what it be, y'all, it's your boy A-N-T coming to you live with the NBA 2K19 commentary and peep game, y'all, imagine Steph, Clay, and Draymond versus Russ, KD, and James Harden. We could have seen that, possibly for multiple years to come. But no, <laughs> the war or the Thunder's manager, manager, management, whoever their owner is, coach at the time, even if they're still there, they're trash. <laughs> uh, imagine having three generational talents and then just letting two go. For nothing. Yeah, Will is Reed is not hanging with Will. I hope y'all know that. I'm abusing him all game. Look at him. Struggling. <laughs> and it was really a tragic ending to something that started almost like a fantasy. I mean, they had... While, while the 76ers were still looking for a process... And the Trailblazers were drafting Greg, the glass man, Odin. Let's go, Randolph. Bully him. The Seattle Supersonics slash OKC Thunder were building a dynasty, low-key, through the draft. They drafted, what, KD in 07? Russ and Serge in 08, and then James Harden in 09. How is he out rebounding me right now? What is going on? With that talented core of the big four alone, within, I want to say, less than five years, they made it to an NBA final. Let's go. Get them rebounds. <laughs> and granted, LeBron and the big three snatched they soul in the finals. But they still had a lot of potential. Their future looked really bright. And this was right, right before the Splash Brother dynasty would really uh, take off. And get going and uh it's funny because right when things started to look bright just like in life the thunder started to disappear <laughs> it, it started with the fact that james they thought james harden was really only a sixth man uh, a role player coming off who could only come off the bench they would have rather they would have rather kept cephalosha and and even Serge, even Serge Ibaka, they even kept him instead of James Harden. Which, look how that turned out. <laughs> uh, like, I, I, honestly, I think if they get rid of Kendrick Perkins and maybe even Serge Ibaka and move Cephalosha or something like that, I think... And they keep James, of course. They clear out that space to make room for James, of course. But I think they're going to make, you know, a couple, a few finals appearances, maybe win a couple rings. Let's go, Will. Get that. I'm going to call that Kobe ISO. <laughs> but, yep, let's go. Oh, he's he's stopping Kobe. I'm getting him all these blocking fouls. Let's get it. Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring in a couple subs as well. Yep, good, good, good pick, good pick. But like I was saying, let's go. Good foul. <laughs> They they probably win a couple ships if they keep that that big three of KD Russ and James no matter what. I don't even think 
KD leaves the way he does if if James Harden stays, to be truthful. Um, and then, you know, after Harden left, Serge was on and off the roster. Which, you know, and then they finally moved him to Toronto. And then KD left. Which... I don't care how you look at it. I, I don't care if he was leaving or not, really. It, it's how he left and where he went to that is the problem. Ooh. Shoot that. <laughs> Jesus. How is that heavily contested? He ain't have nobody on him. But. Yeah, it was the weakest move in NBA history, bar none. And KD will probably go down as one of, the, if not the weakest superstar in NBA history for that. It, it would take something drastic for him to be seen in a good light again. Look, what is he doing? I'll take that all day long. And I still can't convert. What is going on? He's going to leave Zebo in the paint wide and he can't even convert. <laughs> Come on now, y'all. Like, pretty much everybody knew KD was leaving. It wasn't no secret, really. But, I know it's a business and it's a part of the game, but you, he literally left to the team that beat him the year before. And they had, he had them down 3-1. He could have been in their shoes in the finals. And, you know, possibly, you know, got beat by LeBron. Because LeBron beat him that year when when the Warriors went up 3-1. But he didn't. And then he left and joined the team that not only, you know, went to the finals. He went to the team that beat him to go to the finals. Like, what? That? <laughs> like, And then you go wonder why people call you a snake and don't like you or respect him. Or anything like that. Like, I don't get it. How could you not see that coming? Like, he could have even, if he even would have went to the Rockets and teamed up with James and been his sidekick, no one would have even batted an eye. But, it's where he went that really, like, that people had the big problem with and that's why people don't respect him is because he wanted the easy ring and it was obvious and it's sad that you know that that's the NBA we live in let's go I don't know how I'm getting all these steals he ain't even guarding me at the three but oh well let's get it <laughs> I only hope somehow Russ and James can team up maybe again one day or even just get themselves a ring because they deserve it honestly they got storied careers but thanks to KD and the Warriors the NBA kind of boring I mean we all know they gonna go to the finals this year and win and yeah a couple teams in the east do look promising to maybe dethrone them in the in the coming years But the NBA literally let them assemble the greatest starting five in NBA history. They got Boogie, KD, Draymond, Steph, and Clay. Like, you put them up against any starting five in NBA history. Showtime Lakers, 86 Celtics, 1992 Dream Team. The Warriors are giving them a run for their money in a seven-game series. I'm not saying they win all those, but... Those are some pretty good series being played. <laughs> and that's how dangerous it is. They're, they're challenging Olympic teams with the greatness on their roster <laughs> and their depth. They got Iggy at six man. And that he they got him fresh when he was uh, out of Denver when he was still Iggy.
And, you know, we maybe KD will one day get out of the sunken place and come from come back from the dark side and be loved again. But like I said, it's going to take something drastic for him to be seen as respected again. Granted, people do see him as a as a great player. Don't get me wrong. They do. Which, you know, he is a great player. But his rings got them asterisks by him. Just because of where he went. Like with Tom Brady and the cheating. Put them asterisks by it. <laughs> you know, even James Harden said it still haunts him to this day. To this day. With that trio of young, hungry, MVP caliber players could have accomplished. And it, it truly, really does break my heart. Oh, let's go, pal. Oh, my goodness. Really? It breaks my heart that they couldn't grow together and create, you know, build chemistry and a dynasty of their own with that team. Oh, good screen. Good screen. Let's go. But like I said, I, I do hope Russ and James get their rings because they, they deserve one at least to go with their storied careers because... I think no matter what they do in this, in the league today, they'll all until they win a ship, they'll always wonder, what if? <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much all I got. So uh, yeah, story of the 2012 Thunder, tragic as hell. <laughs> If y'all uh, enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. I'm going to probably be doing more videos like this. Uh, sports tragedies or, you know, what if scenarios, what if teams. Oh, my goodness. Wilt should have got that. But don't leave a dislike. That's being a hater. Go ahead and subscribe. Support the cause. And uh, ring the damn bell. So you don't miss none of my dope content dropping real soon. It's been your boy, A-N-T, the Elevated Gamer, a.k.a. the Above Average Gamer. Be safe out there, y'all, and uh, don't get smoked. Oh, I thought I was going to swack a three to end the video, but I'm out. Peace.